on the blog. <laughs> this is where I just sit in a, a sit in infrared heat that's it. Like right now it's 137 and I've got um, about 50 minutes to go in here. Mm -hmm. And this is where I like clear my mind, detox my body, meditate, envision the life that I would like to manifest. And um, I just talk about things that I know help me be a better person and manifest things that I uh, would like to see appear in my life. So, um, another week ahead and this is gonna be a big one because of the election. Now, I don't really like to get political because this is not necessarily the place for that, but I will say this. We're experiencing an incredible shift of consciousness. And so when that happens, there's always a backlash and a resistance because there are those that don't understand, you know? And they don't know how to process this energy that we're being inundated with. And so it's almost like the duality split. And I'm not saying that those that are not thinking from their heart or their third eye, mainly from your heart, are, well, let's just say, I don't feel like the whole picture is being seen and that so many in the world are wallowing in fear and anger and hate, you know, and I don't understand why, you know, I think it's fear of loss or fear of lack or fear of losing something that you never had. I don't know, but <sighs> everything's about to shift. And so this week when you go to the polls, and I would assume everybody in this country should go to the polls or at least mail in your ballot or something because <laughs> we have to take the next steps towards spiritual evolution. You know, it's like <laughs> hate and the lower vibrational energies that are being propagated right now are all about keeping spiritual evolution down, okay? And I'll try to make this brief, but about four or five years ago, four-ish years ago, the planet started being inundated or it moved into a part of the galaxy, our solar system moved into a part of the galaxy that is in the light. We've been in the dark for tens of thousands of years. And now we're being inundated with all this light and it's changing our DNA. It's raising our consciousness and raising us to another dimension actually. But there's such a resistance to that. And by resistance, I mean that there are energies that would like to see humankind stay asleep and to not embrace the light and to not embrace the higher consciousness and the higher thought and the higher vibrational energies that are basically based in your heart and up. And they prefer us to be stuck in the dark with hate and fear and insecurities and all sorts of anger and unpleasantness. So I'm going to meditate for peace in everybody's hearts, including my own. And I'm going to meditate for a brighter future and a better world. And I pray that everyone goes to the polls and that everyone looks into their hearts for the truth and what's best for humanity in its spiritual evolution. Okay, now I'm already sweating. I got 15 minutes and it's 135 degrees. Man, I'm dripping. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm literally dripping, dripping. Okay, so blessings to you all. Blessings, 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 blessings. Oops, I'm dropping my towel. Shoot. <laughs> all right. I can't let go. Ah, peace. <laughs>